Friends, we're continuing to look at this great book, A Praying Life by Paul Miller. We're on the 15th chapter now, and the, the title of this chapter is What Do We Do About Jesus's Extravagant Promises About Prayer? You know, because he says, look, you got to ask of me, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you things. So, you know, it, it seems almost like an absolute promise. So, we can then find ourselves saying, this just doesn't work for me, right? Maybe you felt that uh, at certain points. So what are we to do with that? Well, I think some of the helpful thoughts that we have in this chapter, first of all, we go to the book of James and it tells us two things. It, it, it says you don't have because you don't ask. So this is one of our big problems. We just don't ask. And then if you ask, he said, sometimes what you do is you ask, just so you spend it all on your own selfish pleasures. And in other words, it's not actually asking in Jesus' name and in the will of God. So we have to look, the solution to this is to ask boldly and then to surrender completely. So do both of those things. And then we're praying like Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane. He asked boldly, if, there, if there's any way, take this cup from me. And then he said, you know, not my will, Lord, but yours. So he surrendered completely. I think there's a couple ideas. Just want to emphasize the last couple of seconds here. First of all, ask, you know, ask. And that means you got to, you got to consider what do I actually want? What do I, what am I asking for? And if you don't know, ask him to help you to see what you should be asking for. Right. And then the second idea is this, learn to abide in your prayer life. Not everything has to be instantaneous. The Lord is building relationship. Abide in him. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings.